Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and we're gonna be going over the 2020 Toyota Camry XSE with the V6 engine. And I actually have some great news for you guys. So the reason I'm doing this review first is I want to review the regular Camry with the V6 because they are going to be getting in the new Camry TRD, I believe next week. So once that comes out, I'll get a review video so then I can kind of compare this, you know, normal Camry to the new TRD. So as always, we're gonna do a quick walk around on the car, then we're gonna take it out to see how it drives. And a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller Toyota here in Murray, Utah for providing us with the Camry. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for a new Toyota. Under the hood here of the 2020 Toyota Camry, we have a naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. In terms of fuel economy, 22 around town, 32 on the highway. Pretty easy to remember. Power figures, 301 horsepower, and then 267 pound-feet of torque. Not as easy to remember. Let's go over things on the front. So you can see you've got these nice little lines on the hood, make it look a little bit more muscular. And then you've got these full lights. You can see it just locked on me. So you've got full LED lights right there, LED projector bulbs as well. You've got this cool little venting here in the front. The whole grill as well. Everything here looks a lot more aggressive, a lot sportier compared to the past generation. And then that is the Toyota logo, but it also doubles as the adaptive cruise control sensor as well. But let's head over to the side. So around the side here, we've got 19 inch rims, 235 millimeter tires in the front and the rear as well. I really like the design on them, how they do like the silver inserts with the black spokes. It looks really, really clean in general. And then they kind of got that little connection there for mud flaps, which I think that's cool to have on a sedan. Um, but everything here, all down the car, since this one is finished in black, everything is black. So let's head to the back. Here's our key fob for the 2020 Camry. You've got a couple functions, your lock and unlock, and then your trunk release. If we hold that down, that is what will open up the trunk and notice that it pops all the way open. Some sedans decide not to do that function. It says Camry right here. And then if we actually pick up this whole matte cluster. You can see that there's all that stuff underneath the jack, all that um, fix a flat kit, everything that you need if you ever get stranded with the car. But cargo space back here is actually pretty decent in general. Finishing things out back, let's start at the top here, which I am going to give you guys a hint. On the TRD, this spoiler setup is going to be much more ridiculous than in the regular Camry, but you do get a little spoiler. It is body painted. You got the Toyota logo, Camry logo just down below, parking sensors in the rear. And it actually does have, you can see like a little rear diffuser, which I think is awesome. Quad outlet exhaust, super, super sporty looking. I mean, you can see with the whole back end, how that makes it look so much sportier. It says XSE for the trim package, full LED tail lamps. And then you can see that they kind of wrap around to the side as well with the reflectors on it. But overall, I think the rear angle on this, kind of like the rear quarter angle is probably its best angle. Now in the rear here, we can see the door panel. So we've got some soft touch up top, and then we've got some leather padding down here with the red leather. You can see there's some white contrasted stitching, a little bit of black trim right there, which I really like. Window control, and they actually continue the red theme onto the speakers. And you can see the interior on this is completely red, so full red leather. Actually looks and feels pretty nice in general. And then you've got the cup holders that you can pull out, and it's kind of funny how it just, yeah. Anyways. You actually do get vents for the rear passengers and then legroom is actually really decent. And the backs of the seats are also full leather. A lot of manufacturers will cheap out and just put plastic here, but Toyota did not. And then you get little mat pockets. We've got keyless entry in the Camry. So one touch to lock it and then to unlock it. You just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle. And then we can see that the panel here in the front is identical to the one in the rear. So same soft touch with a little silver strip leather, more of the red leather with the white contrasted stitching, all of your window controls down in this little area right there. You've got your mirror adjustments as well. And then again, red continues onto the speaker. We can see the seats here in the front. I actually really like them. The bolsters on them are super, super wide. And then you can see it's fully perforated throughout the entire seat that'll come in handy a little bit later in the video. You can see you've got power adjustments with your lumbar support. And then you've got the little pedal layout and it says Cami right there on the floor mat. And then we can see over here that the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Paddle shifters, which again, those will come in handy a little bit later. This is for your gas, your tailgate. That's your um, camera system right there. And then this is for your stability control. And then that's your light controls. Start up the camera, you just put your foot on the brake, push the push start, and then the car will start right up. You can see the sweep that the gauges do and it beeps at you a bunch. 
Toyota logo front and center on the steering wheel. Over on the right side, we've got our cruise control. You've got that for the collision warning, lane departure assistance. This is for the radio settings, volume control on the other side with your voice commands, phone button, and then this is for the center screen. That is your light stock slash turn signal stock, and then this is for the windshield wipers. And then over here on the buttons, like I said, we'll go over some of these momentarily. Obviously, these are pretty self-explanatory with like, you know, the lights and all that, but the camera system, that is the one that we will go over later. It's actually pretty cool on the little touch screen. Here are the gauges in the camera. So you can see on the left-hand side, we've got the RPMs. On the right-hand side, we've got the speed. And then you've got this little center screen, which you can actually scroll through a bunch of different menus on it. As you can see, that there's a bunch of different bits of information. I mean, it's pretty thorough in general. And I mean, look at all this thing. And I mean, it even tells you tire pressure, all that kind of stuff. So pretty cool little system there in the center screen. Hazard lights at the top. And this is our center control stack. So I've got all these buttons for like the radio and all that. And I really like the feeling of all these buttons. They have a really nice feel to them in general. They actually feel really premium. So kind of a side note, analog controls on the side. So for example, I can go to the home screen. I can go to the menu screen. It also does double as like a touch screen. For example, you can see the response time on it. It's not the best, but it's actually pretty decent in general. And then if we put our camera into reverse, we can see a backup camera pops up. You've got little trajectory lines, and then you can go through a couple different views with that. It does give you a bird's eye view, which I really appreciate that. And then while we're talking about cameras, so that button over here that I talked about earlier, we can press that and you can see that it gives you kind of a view around the car and then you can kind of get a 360 view. So I think it's a neat little thing that they give and you can see if I drive the car, it won't let me exactly do anything, but pops up with more cameras when you pop it into drive, which is really nice. We've got our analog controls for the climate. It is a dual zone climate here in the Camry. And then we can see that we've got this little area right here, which is for some extra storage. And if you press it again, you've got it all locked up, which is nice. You got a couple charging stations right there. Cup holders here in this area. It does come with heated and ventilated seats. We'll get into that area in a moment. And then we've got the full center console. Got a couple more charging stations there. And then while we're talking in storage, let's go over to the glove box. You can see the glove box has a decent amount of storage space. I like how they use the red leather and more of that white stitching up above to kind of tie that in all. I mean, you can see all throughout the interior on this car, it's just everywhere. Got our parking brake here, that is for auto hold. And then you can see you've got a couple modes. You got your eco, normal, and sport. We'll press those in a second. You can see this is our shifter for that eight speed automatic. You do have a dual shift mode if you wanna shift the gears yourself. And that's what these paddles will come into play for. But if we actually go through the different drive modes, you can see they pop up here on the touchscreen whatever mode. You can see that right there in the corner. It's very, very small. But if you're in normal mode, nothing shows up. If you're in sport mode, it says sport. And then eco mode, it says eco, but yeah. Nothing special happens to the gauges or anything like that. Up top here, we can see that we've got a full panoramic sunroof in this little sedan, which I think is a neat feature. You've got your little sun visors here and you got the little pull out for shading as well, all of your light controls. Other than that though, everything up top is pretty normal. Other than the fact that it has a panoramic sunroof because I know some car manufacturers do it, but not a lot. Now that we are done with things on the interior, let's talk about pricing on this 2020 Toyota Camry XS. So this car sticker is for just under $40,000 before any type of market adjustment. This one's pretty much fully loaded. I can't imagine there's any other features you can really add to it. It has a sunroof, has the heated cooled seats, has the camera system. So I'm pretty sure this is as like loaded up as you can go on a Camry other than maybe doing like a premium paint color other than the black that this has. But that all being said, let's take this 2020 Camry out to see how it drives so then we can compare it to the TRD in the near future. So before we set off here in the Camry, let's talk about visibility. So you can see visibility over the front is pretty good. You can see visibility through both of the mirrors as well. And then through the rear, a little bit limited there with the back window, but in general for a sedan, visibility is actually pretty good. So let's set off. So we are fully setting off here in the V6 Camry and let's talk about road noise and ride quality first and foremost. So 
In terms of road noise, it actually is very, very quiet in general. I don't hear a whole lot coming into the cabin, so they've done a fantastic job with the sound deadening in the car. Ride quality, it's exceptionally smooth, um, especially for a sedan, and I expect that with a little bit longer wheelbase that the Camry is. It's definitely gonna be smoother than something like a Corolla or a Yaris or a Prius. Please don't buy a Prius. Anyways, <laughs> it's, it's super smooth, suffice to say. Turning here, steering feel is actually really, really light. Um, the car is actually pretty direct in general, which I wasn't expecting it to be as direct as it is. I know I did drive a 2019, but I already kind of forgot how that one drove, sadly. But yeah, steering on it's really direct. The steering though is very light, so if you're looking for like a very light, effortless steering rack, good to go on this one. Flip it uh, into uh, sport mode and get a little acceleration here. Get a little bit of torque steer there actually, but in general acceleration on this is really, really good. This V6 is more than enough power for the Camry and that's really what this is all about. So if you're looking for, you know, the ultimate powerful Camry, please don't pull me over. Anyways, if you're looking for like the most powerful Camry, this is definitely worth it. And I mean, 300 horsepower for a Toyota, that's just I think that's absolutely crazy. I mean, it's only 60 horsepower roughly off from the new Supra, which is a full-blown sports car. So to sum things up, if you are looking for a full-size sedan, you want something that's super reliable, just like all the other Toyotas, something is super comfortable, all of the luxury features, then the Camry is gonna be the one to go for. It's a little bit more popular than the Avalon and it's for good reason, it's pricing and then also the size of the car as well and then the sportiness, all of it kind of comes together into one complete package. So if that is what you are looking for, definitely check out one of these 2020 Toyota Camrys. And there we have it everyone, the 2020 Toyota Camry XSE. Really like this car, but I am super excited to be able to review the TRD once that arrives on the lot here at Larry H. Miller. Toyota here in Murray, Utah. But there's their shout out again. If you're on the market for a Toyota, check these guys out. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought, and then I will see all of you in that next video. I was totally seeing if it would sound different in sport mode and it didn't, so yeah, there's that.